I do think, though, Nikki Haley is going to be in trouble down there in South Carolina. Her home state, I hasten to add, if this straw poll of visitors to a local diner in the Palmetto State is anything to go by. But one final poll, guys. Who is still undecided in this diner? Undecided. Who's going for Nikki Haley in the diner? And and who's going and who's going for former President Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah, uh, not not a not a lot of love there for uh, the old Nikki Haley, I tell you. But first, let's have a bit of fun, courtesy of Donald Trump, who has just posted this little. Well, I won't quite call it a campaign ad just yet, but it's a little video of Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi walking hand in hand, and I think the soundtrack says it all. Call us for a special caring touch. Visiting angels care so much. Visiting angels, America's choice in home care. <laughs> now, Trump also has been having a bit of fun at Joe Biden's expense on the campaign trail, doing his impersonation of the president trying to find his way off a, off a stage. He always goes like this. Fantastic. I know, I know <laughs> Biden doesn't still seem to have a lot going on, but I've actually got some horrifying news for you because apparently, according to a new book about oh, to be released, the 81-year-old Joe Biden is oh. fond of telling White House staffers that the key to a <laughs> successful marriage is, wait for it, good sex. Yes, yeah, sorry, I know there, there's an image you didn't need on a Sunday, but it's my duty to report these things, though you gotta wonder if this whole thing isn't a bit like the dead leaders Biden claimed to have met with the other week who haven't been seen for years and years, if you know what I mean.